This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research looking at profit margin in a Asia, which is almost at a 2008 bottom now in 2015. How did I get this number? I took all the companies in Asia and I accumulated their balance sheets and P&Ls and I was able to calculate in this case the net profit margin and the revenue off of the P&L. So let's go through this chart. First thing to look at is point A. And at point A, you're going to see revenue and net profit grew at a similar pace in 20, 2006 and 2007 before the global financial crisis hit. So you can see that in point A, a similar growth rate for both. They matched each other. Next is point B. By 2010, companies in Asia had almost recovered from the 2008 crisis and net profits were almost back on par with revenue. So there we are at point B. We see a dip that happened in net profit in 2008 and 2009, but a recovery to in 2010. Profit margin came back up, but that turned out to be the peak of profit margin. Point C is revenue in 2015 was 20% higher compared to 2010. So we're talking about the recovery period after the 2008 crisis, but profit was 6% lower. The net profit margin has deteriorated to a level that is close to 2008 when the global financial crisis hit. So there we have point C and we can see the revenue versus the profit which is 6% lower than it was in 2010. And finally is point D as of 2015 revenue had grown by 115% since 2006 while net profit merely grew by 60% during the same period of time. And there we have point D where we're looking at and I'm look, thinking about 2006 to 2015. Now we don't have 2016 yet because companies are reporting those numbers now but they'll be out soon and we'll be able to see what happened in 2016. So now you understand more about profit in Asia.